Hey guys, I am Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, coming to you live this morning to talk to you about why you should change out cast iron pipes. I live in the Dallas area, North Central Texas. So cast iron pipes have been around for a long time. But let's go back before that. Before that, there were clay pipe. Okay, clay pipe actually ran to carry your, your sewer line from your house out to the city, to the city tap. Now, clay pipe had a life expectancy of, you know, 50, 75, 3,500 years, somewhere around in there. Okay, a long life expectancy, really probably, let's say, 25 to 50 years. That is probably more accurate. Down in Austin, whenever I worked down there, we had to change those out a lot. Whenever you'd come out, you'd start running the sewer machine down. You'd get mud on your snake. You'd figure out about how many feet you went in. And sure enough, you dig it up and there'd be a break there. So you'd have to do a repair or a replacement. Cast iron, now cast iron pipe, they started installing around 1900s. We probably quit installing cast iron pipe in residential in our area, probably about 1980, maybe a little bit before, a little after, but around there. I remember doing an apartment complex in the 80s and we still had to put cast iron underground. Once we got above ground, we, we could transition to PVC. Now, PVC is great because PVC has a life expectancy of about 100 years. And, you know, there, there's not a lot you can do to it to damage it. That's why whenever we do change out cast iron, that's what we change it out to. But here's the deal. Cast iron pipe that has a life expectancy of 50 to 100 years above ground has a life expectancy of 25 to 50 years once you put it below ground. Guys, cast iron pipe can rust. And when you bury pipe underground, number one, you know it's gonna be wet, get wet, at least moist. If you run water through it, you know it's gonna be wet through the inside and that's what it's designed for. So you know that cast iron pipe literally starts deteriorating from the time that you put it in. Now, there are some things that can affect that and, and make a real big difference. So detergents, whether it's just hand soap, whether it's you know shampoo, whether it's laundry soap, whether it's detergents that you're using in your kitchen, detergents can actually lead to a quicker deterioration because of what they do to the inside of the pipe. Now, other things, chemical drain cleaners. I mean, guys, I know y'all have heard me talk about this before. Chemical drain cleaners are one of the worst things you can use on your plumbing system. They literally, they start eating away your cast iron pipe as soon as you start pouring it in. Now, most drain cleaners are a sulfuric acid. And guys, it's the acid that literally starts eating away at your pipe. And don't get me wrong, chemical drain cleaner may unclog your drain every now and then because it's going to go in there and bust up you know, grease or detergents or things like that, but it is also wreaking havoc on your plumbing system. So, and, and it may just be a little bit at a time, but guys, literally we've gone into houses that, you know, the homeowner's like, oh, I don't have any drain problems. I pour Drano down it all the time. Guys, sulfuric acid is not good for your plumbing system. Now, every once in a while, maybe, but guys, remember too, that stuff's dangerous. If you put it in a sink or a toilet or something like that to try and unclog it and it does not unclog it and you do have to call somebody or your husband comes in to do it or your boyfriend or whoever or you're, even you're doing it, whoever it is doing it, just remember that's an acid in there now. It's not just class three sewer water. This is an acidic product and you need to be prepared for it meaning wear glasses, wear a, a face shield, wear something you can do to protect your eyes and, and keep your kids away from it. I mean, would you let them go out and play in the backyard if you had a bowl of acid there? Don't let them in the bathroom if you've put it in the sink or in the toilet. Another thing that people don't really think about are just general soil conditions. A lot of soils here in North Central Texas are slightly acidic. Once you start burying this pipe in an acidic situation, you're doing the same thing. You are leading to the deterioration of that pipe from the time that you put it in. The last one is grease. Grease has been a problem for cast iron pipes. And, and this is the primary reason for what plumbers call channel rot. Okay, there's a lot of times we'll stick a camera in a sewer line 
and we'll start going down and you can see a gap in the bottom. You can actually see a ledge where the cast iron pipe has rotted away and now there's just mud down underneath it. The problem with this is sewer machines get caught down in it, cameras get caught down in it. And at that point it's like, okay, we've either got to tear your sewer line out and get down to it or something because now you've got a problem. Grease has set in the bottom of your cast iron pipe for so long now that it has literally rotted it out and we call it channel rot. And now there, there's a, a channel right down the bottom of your pipe that's rotted out. Guys here in North Central Texas, I've grown my business by taking care of realtors. And one thing that we do is a sewer water test. I've done two of those this week for the same guy, actually. Both of them, the sewer failed. One of them, the homeowner had no idea. He's actually having us come in to replace his sewer under his house. The other one, I'm pretty sure the homeowner knew. And guys, he did not want us to prove it. He kept fighting us saying, look, I do not want y'all to do a test here. Once the buyer says, look, we're just doing a test to see if it leaks. I guess he thought, okay, I've had problems, but maybe it'll hold. Once we stuck a camera in there to start looking at where we're putting our test ball and things like that, we saw the sewer line was cracked. It had roots in it. It had mud in it. And the bad thing is this homeowner knew. Whenever we told this homeowner, hey, look, we've got problems. He says, look, I don't hear anything you're saying. I want y'all to pick up your stuff and leave. Guys, there's a lot of people out there that will just screw you over. And a homeowner that knows they have problems like that, and they're trying to sell a house, and they won't let you test it and check it, walk away from that house. There's a reason they don't want you to test it. A sewer water test here is about $350. For another $250, we'll run a camera. Guys, that $600 of insurance right there can save you thirty dollars to $100,000, maybe just $5,000. It doesn't matter. If you can spend that money, do a sewer water test, because I'm telling you, there's homeowners out there that know they've got a problem, they know they got a leak, and they will jack you over just to sell it to you, and then look at the disclosure agreement and say, oh, I, I, I didn't even know I had a problem. Guys, be careful what you're walking into. Do a sewer water test. It can save you. Whenever we do these sewer water tests and determine that the cast iron is rotted, we replace it with PVC. We end up normally just replacing the section that is broken or causing issues if it's a home seller. If it's a homeowner and they know they've got problems, they normally come in and look at the entire situation and said, look, we plan on being here for a while. We want to fix everything and make it right so we never have this problem again. Guys, I hope you've learned something from this video. Cast iron, it served its purpose. It was really good, not really expensive. And guys, we still use it in residential buildings. So I'm not saying that there's nothing good about it. There is because it's done well and it's lasted a long time. But it does have a life expectancy. If you're buying a house, just remember that. Know that there's a life expectancy that you may have to deal with, and that could be a problem that you're just buying into. So why replace cast iron pipe? Because the newer PVC pipe lasts longer and performs better. It actually stays smoother on the inside. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. If so, please click the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so you get notified when we release one. And guys, share these videos. Tell your friends about them. Send them out, let people know. Guys, this is information we want to get out to the public to let them know. I love doing these. I love telling people about plumbing and plumbing problems and things they can do to take care of it or things they need to know to look out for themselves. I hope you enjoy these. I hope you like the stuff. I hope you share them. And guys, if you have questions or comments, please put them in down here. We'd like to give you information that you want to know. So if there's anything you want to know, please let us know. My name is Roger Wakefield with Texas Green Plumbing, saving you money one drop at a time.